this is the beginning of, of what is going to be in, um, an evolving uh, transformation in crisis care. Three simple numbers with the ability to save a life. This is the start of something beautiful. The National Suicide Hotline Designation Act was signed into law October 2020, designating 988 as the national dialing code for anyone facing a mental health crisis. It is going to replace the current 11 digit number for the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. The Idaho Crisis and Suicide Hotline averages 70 contacts a day, either through phone calls or text messages. And it's been increasing steadily, but Director Lee Flynn says that's a good thing because it means people are reaching out for help. And she hopes 988 will make the process even simpler. It's an easier to remember number, and that's the beauty of it. Remembering a 10 digit number in the middle of a crisis is, is quite difficult to do for people. However, many of us, when we enter any sort of emergency or witness an emergency, can remember 911. Eventually, um, in this country and in Idaho, it, the awareness level will be the same for 988. But again, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take time to really get to that point. In other states, there are concerns about a lack of funding for the new system, leaving people with no one to talk to if they are in crisis. The Idaho legislature briefly considered Senate Bill 1125 in 2021, which proponents say would have secured a more sustainable funding method to address mental health and suicide prevention. But the bill went nowhere. I am proposing we accelerate the implementation of the Behavioral Health Council's recommendations by investing $50 million to improve behavioral health access across Idaho. In his State of the State, Governor Little said behavioral health is a priority, urging lawmakers to invest $50 million into the state services, including 988. It is one of many steps we will take to prevent tragedy, improve lives, and make our community safer. We are very fortunate that uh, our crisis care continuum uh, was granted funding um, for this year and what it looks like ongoing, we're unsure. While the fate of funding in Idaho is murky, the goal of 988 is clear, helping connect those facing a mental health crisis. With that unified message, that will really get through to people and make it really easy, you know, easy to understand and, and definitely easy to remember that no matter what a person's going through, what type of crisis, that they really are able to call 988 24-7. Nicole Camarda, Idaho News 6.